Marginal rate of substitution notation. I am having a dumb doubt in writing some slides for an undergraduate class. I want to be consistent with the use in microeconomics but this easy thing is really bugging me. Mars Colal Parg. 54. Dollar misses underscore LK equals frac frac partial U partial X underscore L frac partial U partial X underscore K. Dollar tells us the amount of good K that the consumer must be given to compensate her for a one unit marginal reduction in her consumption of good L. Rennie advanced micro parg. 18. Dollar misses underscore IJ X is defined as frac frac partial U partial X underscore I frac partial U partial X underscore J dollar. Mrs. Underscore I J X is again a positive number, and it tells us the rate at which good J can be exchanged per unit of good I with no change in the consumer's utility. I know also how to derive this result with the total differentiation, but one thing really confuses me. Dollar do equals frac partial U partial X underscore I asterisk DX underscore I plus frac partial U partial X underscore J asterisk DX underscore J dollar. Zero dollars equals frac partial u partial x underscore i asterisk dx underscore i plus frac partial u partial x underscore j asterisk dx underscore j dollar dollar frac partial u partial x underscore i asterisk dx underscore i equals frac partial u partial x underscore j asterisk dx underscore j dollar dollar frac dx underscore j dx underscore i equals frac frac partial u partial x underscore i frac partial u partial x underscore j dollar the last equation expresses the differential increase in dollar $x underscore j dollar correspondent to a marginal increase in dollar $x underscore i dollar just as the two formulas above. Where does the minus go in the two books? Am I neglecting something? Thanks. It is implicit in the interpretation, Moss Kalel, the amount that must be given, plus, to compensate for a reduction, Rini, the rate at which good J can be exchanged, plus and, for good I, the derivation from total differentiation only requires the utility to be constant, so the derivative must be negative to express that if the quantity of good dollar I dollar increases, the quantity of good dollar J dollar should decrease. Another reason why some authors omit the negative sign is that in equilibrium dollar, Mrs. underscore I J, equals frac p underscore i p underscore j dollar so either you use the derivation from total differentiation and also the negative ratio of prices or leave both sides as positive and focus on interpretation most people prefer the latter 